The game is most in the loop. I like slam beats, it takes me to the beat. My favorite play is the alley oop. I like the pick and roll, I like the give and go. Cause it's basketball, oh, Mr. Curtis. Oh. Oh. Yo, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Romeo615, Romeo Productions, giving you a very quick review on NBA 2K12. Uh, first off, I want to say I was able to add my own graphics mod um, because it is DirectX 9. So if you do want to do that, well, hit me up. I'll give you some help on how to get the game looking a little better. Um, very disappointed that the so far the 3D stereo drivers uh, caused some graphical glitches in the game. You'll see I highlighted that in some of the, the bullshit gameplay I did. After that, I really can't judge the game much because I didn't play NBA 11 and I didn't play 10. Like, I kind of just gave up on the basketball games. But uh, the addition to Jordan and all the old school players is kind of what made me jump back into the game. Like, it, it sucked me in seeing the trailer so uh on that tip the game is all right like you know i'm not really disappointed uh graphics wise on the computer i'm very disappointed i mean i can't say that it looks better than the 360 or ps3 because i don't play those no more but i'm not really sure man it just it don't look that good for what it's worth but there was a 30 dollars price tag versus you know however much it costs a game stop so that was a good thing overall i'm not really gonna rate the game as far as 1 to 10 because I'm still disappointed with some things and I'm hoping that with a patch some of those get fixed so I will say if you getting it for the PC kind of steer clear is it's not really worth the 30 bucks if you can't use 3d and uh, if the game doesn't look you know that much better than the console versions but if you're an NBA fan you know give it a test run see you know you will get it a little cheaper on the PS I mean uh, on the PC I do have a joystick for the PC, so it's just like playing it on the console as far as the controls. feels pretty good. More or less, um, I'm, I'm giving the, the game a thumbs down right now, though. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give it a number rating until I can see if they fix some of these issues with the graphics. But overall, uh, I am having fun with the game, minus the graphic issues and the, the stereo 3D effects. But... Again, I was a little disappointed with the graphics. And when you spend a lot of money on a computer, you know, you expect the graphics to be way better than the console. So that being said, hope you guys enjoy the game. Just wanted to get my thoughts on the um, the game real quick. Yeah, I'm about to go jump online with some ads real quick. Yo, yo, I also want to let people know that I was able to get FXAA in the game. And uh, it does work better to me than the MSAA that the game offers. For those who don't know what FXAA is, look it up on Google. I'm not going to waste my time. But it definitely does help with the anti-assailant in the game. So, yeah, hopefully you guys will uh, work on your own graphics mod. I worked on mine around you know, 4 o'clock this morning, so I'm not finished with it. But for those who want to test it out, I will uh, release it publicly soon. So, yeah, anyone need 